So we just did remove, and now we're gonna do, well, remove with the index, and now we're gonna look at the other remove. So I'm using the navigator to go to, let's see, this right here. So I'm gonna cut, and let's go up to the remove, the other remove, where is it, right there. All right, so this is a bit different. Yeah, we are removing, uh, but now we're not using an index, and we should change this to be element. We're now removing by looking at basically the data of each node and seeing if the data is equal to element, and then we're gonna remove that. So we're not returning the data we remove because if you think about it, whoever called this method already had that data. So it's a little pointless to send back the exact thing that was sent in. Uh, but just like we could have a bad index, we could be looking for something that's not actually in there. So with our, let's see, with this setup here, we could be looking for maybe I want a hot dog and all this has is a burger. Uh, so hot dog's not in here. And so you could call remove with something not in your list. And then we shouldn't just be removing some random node. We should be removing nothing. So if element is not found, we're not going to remove anything. And then we're going to return false, meaning we did not remove anything. And if I do find element, then we'll return true. So that's why this is a Boolean. And of course you can right click, navigate, go to super implementation. And you can read uh, all of this right here. So it basically just summarized most of what I said, hopefully. All right, we got a couple other issues or other exceptions here. Uh, let's not try to remove a type that we can't. So let's not cause this one to happen. So it could be the specified element is null, null pointer exception. All right, we're gonna, we're, we won't be throwing this for any methods we implement. All right, I'm not going to show you how to do this, but I will talk you through a little bit of it. So what we need to do is look at each element and see if the data is equal to the element we're trying to remove. We've done a few different loops. Let's see. Get node will work. You're basically gonna need to run something like that. Even the two string might be a, a, even a better one. So this is a good place to start, grab that. So we're not gonna compare result to the data. We are gonna look at the data, but we're gonna do it inside of an if statement. All right, so I don't wanna give more away than this, but if current data equals, so you could do that or you could go element.equals. So this is how you can compare the data to the element. So how do we remove? Well, good news is we just did a remove. Uh, the way I have this set up though, you're looking at the current data. So if element equals current data, let's say that we're gonna remove strawberries. So we wanna remove uh, strawberries. Remember, we actually need to stop at the previous node and change the previous nodes next to be the previous nodes next next. So it's a little bit tricky, but you have to stop one short. How do you stop one short? Well, let's think about what's happening. We don't wanna look at current data. So I think instead of calling this current, so I'll rename Control R. 
I'm going to call it previous node. You're going to need to treat the initial uh, separately, differently than you treat all the rest. Node. All right, instead of looking at previous node data, we want to look at the previous node next data. So we're looking at the data of the node after previous node. So basically previous node will point to the one before the one we want to remove. So if previous node's next data is equal to the element, then we're going to make the shift of the, the change of the arrows. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Of course, you need to test it. You need to test with an object in the list and an object not in the list. And you need to test uh, not just an object in the list, but you have to test the first object in the list, the last object in the list, and a middle object. And with our example, there's four in the list. So you're going to need to test. I'd test all four, remove all four of them, just one at a time, uh, and then remove something that's not in there, like maybe remove hot dog from the list, and you should be getting back false if you remove something that's tried to remove something that's not there.